Sometimes the difference between right and wrong on one of these problems boils down to identifying one word. And, you know, if you can get that one word, you're good to go. And if you can't, you you know, you end up getting, you know, falling prey usually to one of their traps in the process. And so I always remind people, take an extra breath when you hit these problems up and make sure you kind of, you you look at every word that you come through on it. So what we're looking at here is our classic particle moves along a straight line. So we've got our particle moving along a straight line. The graph up above is the particle's position. And so it's always important when you're dealing with a graph to sort of remind yourself what that graph is. And I always, I'm like, okay, I will write it up there. That is the position function. From there, they tell us some info about it. They say, well, you've got horizontal tangent lines at t equals 1 and t equals 3. And so I'm going to mark those on there because that's, you know, they probably think it's important. And then point of inflection at t equals 2, right? So anytime you're dealing with intervals, those are places that you probably could have breaks in your interval. We now look at what the actual question is, is wanting from us. And so it says, for what values of t is the velocity of the particle increasing? The key word, in case you hadn't guessed, is velocity in this situation. Velocity and speed are two different things. A lot of people read through this and they think of it as one of those speeding up or slowing down style questions. Remember that when you're talking about speed, speed is the absolute value of velocity. So that's something different than velocity. The speeding up, slowing down is usually when you got taught if, you know, if your first derivative and second derivative have are both negative or your first derivative and your second derivative are both positive, that told you that this thing was speeding up. What you're being asked about on this is something slightly different. And what you're being asked about on this problem is they want to know what is the, when is the velocity increasing. So velocity is our V of T equation. And if we want to know when our velocity is increasing, that's when we have positive acceleration. So when your acceleration is positive, that's when your velocity is increasing. And if that acceleration is negative, that's when your velocity is decreasing. And so the key on this was knowing, you know, velocity and speed are two different things. And when you see that word, you don't gloss over it too quickly, right? They know you know this little rule over here. And so they're going to try to trip you up every so often. That rule will help you out on a lot of tests, but some years they're going to be trickier than others. So here, the key was knowing that what you were looking at is velocity. And so what you want is you need positive acceleration. Well, to... Get to that point, this is where you've got to understand that physics relationship that they always want us to know. We need to know our physics stuff, right? So if our original function is our position function, then the derivative of positioned is equal to velocity. And the second derivative of position is the first derivative of velocity, that is acceleration. So what we need is we need positive acceleration, which means we need a positive second derivative, that our second derivative of our equation needs to be greater than zero. Positive second derivative, that's getting to the concavity. So if our second derivative is positive, that tells us that our graph is concave up like a cup. So wherever our graph is concave up like a cup, that's when we have positive acceleration, our velocity is increasing. So in this problem here, we want to find the concave up section. Well, it's going to start at a point of inflection because that's where it changes concavity. So we're starting here at 2, and our graph is concave up like a cup all the way to the end of our interval, which is at 4. And so the right answer on this one is where the graph is concave up. That would be from 2 to 4. That is when our velocity of the particle is increasing. Thanks for watching my video. If you liked it, please click that like button and subscribe. And also share it with your friends and anyone else you know who might be crying about an upcoming AP Calc test. 
You can find more videos from me, more sample AP Calc questions, and my complete AP Calc study guide over at my website, apcalcprep.com. Have a great one.